we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, Father who gives us blessings of becoming a new man, Father who makes our families new, Almighty Father, by your help at dawn may we receive blessings the whole day. By the loving blood may we be forgiven of whatever sin and to receive new blessings. Whatever problem we've received that we're anxious about, may we confess and change it to blessings. May we receive the blessings of surely doing more well. May we receive the precious blessings where we give you glory. May tomorrow be better. May our children do more well. And may our country and people do more well. This amazing mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, forced at repentance. Through it, may we all receive our desires. May we receive happiness and give you praises with thanksgiving. May we live a life where we only give you joy. And may we give profit to many people and receive praise. We believe that we will be your children and save the world. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 to 45. Let's find that. Whatever happens today, the thing that upsets you most is when you have an enemy. When do you have an enemy? When you feel that something is unfair or when you've been disadvantaged. But it's when you can love that person. No matter what you do, you will be God's son and you will receive blessings. This is not possible with human strength. It's when we confess our sins to God and say, all sins are mine. When that enemy is my sin, God who changes our hearts, that is when it is faith, when we are the sons of God. It's not something that we do with our strength, it's God is responsible for us. So what is most hurtful is an enemy. It is God's help, forced at repentance, that can make us love our enemy. So it will happen according to our faith. Our children will happen according to our faith. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 to 45, let's read it. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven for he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous amen so you have to love your enemy to have faith to go to heaven you have to love your enemy to be a son of God. So you think, oh, which filthy person will I meet today? Well, when you realize, I am my enemy. So my flesh, Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 13, our flesh is our enemy. Because I lost to my flesh. I struggled and wrestled because I couldn't get up. Romans chapter uh, Romans chapter 7, 8 our heart wants to do it but our flesh is our enemy when I'm supposed to sleep I can't sleep but when it's time to go that's when I fall asleep so when it talks about loving your enemy first of all I am my enemy the second is my spouse Matthew chapter 10 verse 36 our spouses are our enemies our families are our enemies I'm sure I've said this, but what I've done, I forget. But what other people have done, we're quick to condemn. And we say to our children, you know, you enemy. You know, surely we've done it, but we've forgotten when we've done it. So that's what man is like. So Philippians chapter 2 verse 4, let's find that. So your enemy, what you say to others, that's that's my sins what for me to confess it's for me to repent so as you go further and further out people who have nothing to do with you even 
um, people that you deal with business in business they are your enemy it's all because the problem lies in your heart first of all myself to say oh my filthy destiny so you curse yourself and you make yourself an enemy then you curse your family and then others so you treat everyone as enemies but then you say that you don't so because God knows this he says if you want to have faith if you want to receive blessings if you want things to happen according to your faith then you need to repent of everyone's sins as yours let's read Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 do not merely look out for your own personal interests but also for the interests of others Amen so when you look upon yourself you're your own enemy when you look at others there's nothing to do but repent so when we repent when we repent of other people's sins as mine oh but I'm a male that person's a female how can I say that's mine well that's what your ancestors have passed down to you did your ancestors only consist of males no they've passed it all down to you 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18 so whether it's other people's sins or your own we have to repent of it all when we repent of it as my sin then it's me that receives joy why does it say to find your joy because that's how we find our faith that's how we find our conscience so faith Romans chapter 15 verse 13 all joy comes when God gives you faith so if you find lots of faith uh, lots of joy that joy becomes our medicine so you need to come here and find joy to eat your medicine medicine if you don't eat what happens already you don't have strength so this is a time when you're supposed to eat medicine but because God knows this he puts someone an enemy in front of you so you get angry and then you actually cause more disease inside of you because you your spirit is broken Proverbs chapter 18 verse 14 which brings about disease but God says no you see that enemy as your sin and repent of it and find joy that means the disease that started to come to you when you eat when you have joy and you eat medicine then that disease disappears and instead you receive your desires Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 let's find Proverbs 17 22 so whatever problem happens whatever enemy quickly do four step repentance and change it to medicine and eat it so that you have wisdom knowledge understanding and 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 prudence and become someone who is strong and powerful in the world and to pass it down to your children and to share blessings with others that person is someone who can be a patriot to the country so you become someone who doesn't spend all their money in the hospital and because you're happy you don't cause problems in society everywhere you go you are light and you give profit to many many people so you give profit to society you become someone truly praiseworthy that is giving glory what is giving glory to God it's where you do well and you make others do well how well starting by finding joy starting by finding my joy so to repent of other people's sins is yours and that's how you find your joy so that's how you do well and to go to heaven and then to share it with others that is someone who gives glory 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 33 let's read Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 a joyful heart is good medicine but a broken spirit dries up the bones Amen so there is no way in this world that you can find joy in your heart you may be laughing on the outside but inside you're tormented and that's why even comedians end up seeking um, mental mental help so this cannot be achieved by human strength it's when you do four-step repentance when you do this you receive the best medicine 
people talk about, oh, this medicine is good or that medicine is good. No. The best medicine is to have a joyful heart. This medicine has no negative side effects. It heals all disease. At this dawn, may we love our enemy and receive this blessing. May we do well, our children do well, and be patriots to Korea, to live healthily and to be faithful to our society. I bless this in the Lord's name. Let's all pr pray. Now it's five o'clock. So we've eaten, we've eaten till we're full. So what happens if the train's going to leave? Well, there's still time, so don't worry. Oh, past, our pastor came late. Well, doesn't matter because you've eaten everything you need to eat. This is like royal jelly. Let's greet the person next to us. We have fixed our destiny. So just like when the time comes, we eat. Today, it's a time where you should be eating the best medicine with joy so, but because you don't eat the good medicine that's why God makes you meet an enemy so just say you've you've got makeup all over your face and then someone spits on it and you have this piece of yellow phlegm on your face and then you know your eyes are rolling around like spinning tops and you want to fight instead of doing that you need to say Lord that's me mine so when you repent a lot then you eat the best medicine how much don't we eat medicine? How much don't we receive blessings that God says, surely receive blessings? So we think that means a nugget of gold, but better than a nugget of gold is wisdom. So when we see something that upsets us and we repent of it, then we eat good medicine. And so when we eat the good medicine, we have strength. We have strength to pick up the blessings. We have strength to become a patriot to a country. So God will work in us today so instead of saying are you blind you know why did you do this to me even if you did that you quickly say oh at dawn this is what I was supposed to do so it's never too late even look at Pastor Park even though I was late I still came out and that's how we're able to eat this good medicine how good is this You know, if doctors could look after their own health, why would they die? But they can't. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 10, only God knows our circumstances. So because he knows that we're not eating good medicine, he sends someone who makes you upset so that you will eat good medicine. But you say, oh, my situation is bad, but on top of that, to to meet someone like that so so then you end up the person who's supposed to bring you good medicine you end up saying oh yes family are enemies let's change it all to joy let's all pray father this good medicine every time we need it you give it to us so that we'll eat it and have health and have wisdom knowledge and understanding to become strong and powerful to become a patriot to save our family to pass blessings down to our children to give profit to others that's you are doing such a precious work but I receive it as disasters please forgive me and from today may I be wise and change it to blessings uh, change it to wisdom and to live with health and to pass it down to my children. Korea is in danger. This is a time when we eat, need to eat more medicine. Help us not to throw the stone and to curse others and not to, to judge the president but to confess that it's because we haven't prayed and to change it to good medicine instead of saying, how could this be? How could parents do that to children? Or how could children do that to parents? May we change it all to good medicine and become a wise people, starting from us to first do it. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.